morning everyone i just finished chores here um today got yeah, quite a bit on the go i have to feed and bed the beef cattle um, we got some new additions from the sale yesterday i need to uh, get situated and set up um, we need to clean up this feeder pen today, scrape this yard, and clean out this, this run-in section. It's getting pretty built up. Um, we've had, been having to clean it like once a month lately. These calves are getting bigger, so they're uh, going through a lot more bedding lately. Uh, might try to clean up the horse stall as well. I got uh, mats for his stall back in the summer that we I never got put in yet so I might try to stick those in and we gotta move a bunch of bales around on that so lots to do and little daylight to do it but that's the way it goes. stiff of snow overnight to somewhat cover up the mud. Looks nice. It's been so weird so far this year. Like, it's like we haven't had winter yet. It's so mild. I think the coldest it's been it has been like minus 15 maybe. Looks good until you drive over it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't like the cold, but the mud sucks. But I guess you can't have both. <laughs> uh, before I get started, um, I have some few updates to since the new year started. I now have two Jersey cows. Uh, I have a brother who conveniently has a dairy farm <laughs> about an hour and a half from me. <laughs> and uh, milk replacer is like 120 a bag now. So at uh, a bag a week, it's just not, it just costs way too much. So. <laughs> We got these two Angus calves on one cow and uh, two speckle calves on the other now and I can't believe the difference in them like they're growing like three times as fast. It's crazy. So. Next update is the baby bunnies. They are growing like you wouldn't believe. I can't believe how this they grow. They're about be quiet. I think they're about a month old now. There's five of them in there. I don't know what I'll do with them yet, but I'll try to save them. And the final update is uh, ended up losing my dog Simon. I think uh, I had him in the last video. Uh, and Kane Corso, he was like, he was six or seven, I think. I only had him for three years. So, kind of sucks. Um, we don't know what happened. He, uh, he just got really sick and then within 24 hours, he had passed away through the night, so it's pretty sad. It happened like two days after Christmas, so 
Well, and here's the main man of the household now. <laughs> main man of the yard. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Sucks, I guess, but that's part of, part of having pets.
original plan today was to make this feeder pen bigger for my crossbred calves. But there was a jersey sale at the sale yesterday. Well, a jersey herd sold, I should say. And I bought two heifers, so I don't want to put them right in with my feeders. Uh, because I want to kind of quarantine them type of thing for a little while. So I'm going to stick them in this pen that I just made and get them going first. And hopefully sell them. Well, I just took the tractor back. Um, I didn't get everything I wanted done, of course. I didn't get the mats in box stall. I did get it cleaned. I have to hopefully get the, those in tomorrow, maybe. It's hard to get anything done this, this time of year. I find that their daylight hours are so short. the two jersey heifers uh, right here just temporarily kind of like a quarantine thing we'll get them fixed up and put them for sale we got uh feeder pan all cleaned out nicely bedded yard somewhat scraped someday this will be concrete, I hope. And right now it's just rock. So. One step at a time. Everything takes time. One of my new additions I bought private a few days ago. Uh, is this three-year-old Pure Suffolk U. She's bred Suffolk due in March, so she'll fit right in with my other four U's. It's kind of cool. She's, I noticed uh, she's a lot stouter. She's shorter and just built completely different than mine. The ones, I think there's two types of Suffolk. There's like the American and the British. I think. Uh, correct me. Somebody correct me if you're watching this. Anyways, the uh, I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> I should probably know that. But this one is built completely opposite of mine. Mine are taller, taller, a lot more air under them. Well, that is it for the day for me. I'm just about tuckered completely out. <laughs> Not a lot of time today though. Hey, Rami. <laughs> um, got the beef cows fed and bedded. Uh, we got the feeder pen cleaned out and bedded. And the rear yard scraped. Got that new pen set up for those two jerseys. Um, we got the sheep moved down to her quarantine pen. Uh, we got the horse stall cleaned out. Hopefully, get the mats in tomorrow. And yeah, another day done. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you liked my video. And we will see you next time.